Hello developers. Before we can start to use a database, we have to actually create a database and create tables that will allow us to store data inside of it. And then once we have that, then we can start to put data in and get data out and do some other stuff. But without that creation process, we are stuck. So let's talk about how we're gonna create both databases and tables in today's video. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember, we're gonna use Heidi SQL, which is just a visual interface tool for allow us to create different things. We can use it for a variety of different databases. We're gonna use MySQL. And so we're gonna show you how we're gonna do that using that tool that's a local database for us. But remember, this could be an external database. It could be on another server. It could even be a different database. We're gonna be using as much standard SQL as possible. That way it's consistent across all different databases, but notice that there is slight changes. So over here inside of Heidi SQL, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a database. And the create command is actually a SQL command. It's part of my DDL or data definition language. It's how I describe and define information. So I'm gonna come over here and say create and you notice a lot of times that we use all capital letters in the SQL commands and creates a perfect example of that it is a SQL command it highlighted in blue. It's all uppercase. Now, an interesting thing about Heidi SQL is if it sees a standard command, it's going to go ahead and capitalize it for us. So watch as I type in create and then database. Notice how I started typing database when well, I got the data it went blue. Then it went off blue and said, oh, this isn't a right command. It's not a built-in keyword. But now that I have database, I hit space. It's going to make it an uppercase for us, which is nice. Now I need my example. And our example we're going to work through in this series is an order database system. It's a very simple system we're going to create. It's not going to be too complex, but we're just going to track our orders. And so I'm just going to say order example. And I like to put a semicolon at the end, the semicolon is typical, especially if I have multiple SQL commands. Right now, I just have this one line and I want to run it. If I hit the enter key, you know, so it does not run. And that's because I can actually put multiple SQL commands. I can spread out over multiple lines. So I need to give it a way to actually run this code. If I right click over this, you'll notice I have a run command up at the very top. I also have an icon, a little play icon. It's blue instead of some other colors you might expect. But if I click on that, it will run what's inside my active query window. So if I click run, you're going to notice down at the bottom, I'm going to say create database order example. It's just what I put in there. But it now has actually sent that to MySQL and it's executed. It says affected rows one and it doesn't give me any warnings or errors or anything like that, which is great. That's what I want. The problem is, if you look at it, I come over here to my MySQL host and notice I don't see order examples. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this and click my refresh button. And now here's my order example, which is what I was expecting. All right. Now I've got my database, but I don't have any tables. But before I create a table, I want to show you real quick how to create a database using purely Heidi SQL. So how do we use it using this tool? Do I have to know this SQL command? Well, the answer is sort of. Let me show you. I'm gonna right click over the MySQL localhost. So I'm making sure I'm on the right database and I'm gonna choose create new. And notice I have a whole series of options I can pick. Well, I'm gonna pick database and notice it comes up with a little window, create database and gives me a name. But what does it do? It actually shows me my create code. That's a great little tool for us to do. It lets us see that code right there and lets us work with it. So now I could put an example, order example two, for example, it's gonna give us the code. And if I click on okay, it goes in and creates it and it does a refresh for me, which is a little nicer, but that's just a real simple thing. So that's how I go about creating a database inside of Heidi SQL. I can use my SQL command or I can use the built-in interface for Heidi SQL, which is pretty nice. It's pretty easy no matter what. You might have noticed the collation. That's just how it's going to store a text internally. That's for do we want to handle different types of text, extend the languages and things like that. In this example, I always just kind of leave it blank. 
If you want to know more about that or if you're going to need to use some extended UTF characters, you can look up how to do that on your own. So that's creating a database. In our next video, we're going to see how do we create the tables inside of that database, which is a very helpful and important part of this process as well. So stay tuned and be looking out for that video coming up next in this series.